Hello and welcome back to our channel, Mathematics Colu. This is the first video in the series, 10 Amazing JE Advanced PYQs, where the focus will be not on just solving the question. Instead, we will learn how we can connect the concepts of different topics to get answer in a smart way to the question. So, let's start the video. Let's see what is the question. So, here we go. The question says, let A, B, C be three non-zero real numbers such that the equation root 3a cos x plus 2b sin x is equal to c, where x belongs to closed minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, has two distinct real roots. It has two distinct real roots alpha and beta with alpha plus beta is equal to pi by 3. Then find the value of b upon a. Now, the this question, I will be using two methods. One will be... Obviously, the method in which I will straightforward use the method while putting the values of alpha and beta in the equation and proceeding. Second will be, we will try to connect it with some other concept. So let's proceed with the question and let's see what is the first method. The first method, they are saying alpha and beta are the roots of the equation. So definitely alpha and beta are going to satisfy the equation. Let me show you the equation. Here are equation. So alpha and beta will satisfy this equation. So, first of all, we have alpha. Alpha is satisfying the equation. Similarly, beta is also satisfying the equation. Final question, we have b upon a ka value. Chahiye. So, that's why I am going to eliminate c. Okay, we don't need c in the final question. So, subtract these two equations now to eliminate c. Subtracting say kya milega root 3a cos alpha minus cos beta plus 2b sin alpha minus sin beta and this is equals to 0. What we are going to do next, obviously the understood step is or we can say the obvious step is cos alpha minus cos beta and sin alpha minus sin beta values I am going to put here. So I am putting the values root 3a. This will become 2 sin alpha plus beta by 2 sin beta minus alpha by 2. And similarly, use the formula for sin alpha minus sin beta, which gives me 2 sin alpha minus beta by 2 cos alpha plus beta by 2. Now you can observe that we have certain factors common. Like sin alpha minus beta by 2 is a common factor between these two terms. So, I am definitely going to take it common. I am taking 2 sin alpha minus beta by 2 common. So, the first term will be left out as minus root 3a. I hope you must have observed it. Here they sin beta minus alpha by 2 tha and I have taken sin alpha minus beta by 2. So, minus root 3a will be left out. 2 humne pehle common le liya hai. Alpha plus beta is given in the question. So, I can write it as pi by 3. So, it will become sine pi by 6 plus from the second term 2 sine alpha minus beta by 2 taken common. So, we are left out with to be cos alpha plus beta by 2. This is equal to 0. What is the next step? We have two factors. Either first factor is 0 or the second factor will be 0. Suppose first factor is 0, then it gives me alpha equals to beta as the only possibility. Or kuch possibly nahi hai. Why? Because alpha and beta belongs to closed minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So only possible answer, agar first factor ko 0 likhte hai, to aega alpha equals to beta. But again in the question, they have given us that alpha and beta are different. Because they are different, this is not possible. We are left out only with the second bracket. This has to be 0. Now making it 0, just putting the values of sin pi by 6, which is 1 by 2, and cos pi by 6, which is root 3 by 2, equating it to 0. Solving the simple linear equation, obviously root 3 by 2 can be taken common and can be merged with 0. You can remove it with 0. Ke merge kar and solve it for a and b. The ratio b upon a turns out to be 1 by 2. So, answer is 0 0.5. Okay, so the question is very difficult. We have put straightforward alpha beta values ko put kiya hai and usse solve it. But now, let's see ki how we can connect some other topic, some other concept in this question to solve it in a smart way. Smart way means this method was also smart. 
But now let us connect it with some other topic. Now which other topic? कौन से दूसरे टॉपिक से मैं इसे कनेक्ट कर रही हूं तो ध्यान से सुनिए द सेकंड टॉपिक द सेकंड मेथड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हियर इज गोइंग टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ एसएचएम नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग ये एसएचएम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स वी रीड इट इन वेव्स एंड ऑसिलेशन चैप्टर हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट इट ओवर हियर सो जस्ट वेट एंड वॉच सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन में वी आल्सो नो दैट वी हैव अ डिस्प्लेसमेंट फंक्शन रिप्रेजेंटेड विद एक्स टी Which is given as a sine omega t plus phi. Yes, we all know this. Okay, which is actually of kind of the form. I'm just expanding it. So writing it as a cos phi sine omega t plus a sine phi cos omega t, or a cos phi and a sine phi. I'm going to replace them with p and q respectively. So we have something like p sine omega t plus q cos omega t. So well, this is the equation, or you can say this is the function, the displacement function of S H N. We all know this, right? Uh, okay, we also know the graph of simple harmonic motion. So let's trace the graph here also. With the initial phase phi, we have taken. If we trace the graph, the rough sketch of the graph with some initial phase will look like this, right? This is the graph that we'll be getting. Now, all these things we already know. How we are going to use it in maths now? So, going back to my question, what was the question? The question says that actually I have to solve the equation, or we have root three a cos six plus two b sin x is equals to c. Look at the left hand side of this expression. This is nothing but the displacement function kind of expression, right? ये बिल्कुल displacement function जैसा ही नजर आ रहा है. ठीक है अभी डिस्प्लेसमेंट फंक्शन जैसा नजर आ रहा है इफ आई द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन दिस ग्राफ विल आल्सो लुक लाइक द ग्राफ ऑफ एस एच एम द ओनली डिफरेंस विल बी क्योंकि अभी आप इसका ग्राफ बना रहे हो इट विल आल्सो गो ऑन द नेगेटिव साइड ऑफ एक्स एक्सेस ठीक है तो अभी ग्राफ के लिए हमें ज्यादा नहीं सोचना होगा द मोमेंट यू लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम एंड यू कनेक्टेड विद एस एच एम वाला इक्वेशन यू कैन क्विकली ट्रेस द ग्राफ अभी ग्राफ ट्रेस करने के बाद नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या है अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन ये जो वैल्यू है ना दिस इज इक्वल्स टू सी यानी अगेन मैं इसे कनेक्ट करती हूँ और ये कहती हूँ कि इसका मतलब इन्होंने बोला है कि द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इक्वल्स टू सम कांस्टेंट सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन कितना दिया है अल्फा एंड बीटा ठीक है तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट व्हेन इट इज सी वी हैव द एंगल्स एल्फा एंड बीटा द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आर एल्फा एंड बीटा नाउ फ्रॉम द ग्राफ इट इज क्लियर दैट एट एल्फा प्लस बीटा बाय टू दैट मीन्स एट द मिडल पॉइंट ऑफ एल्फा एंड बीटा दैट इज एट द एंगल बाय बाय सिक्स we have the maxima dekho maxima dikh raha hai from the graph now since we are getting maxima at the point alpha plus beta by 2 that's why i'm going to say that for this expression the derivative is going to become zero when x is pi by 6 so let us proceed and equate the derivative to zero i'm going to differentiate it this expression will have derivative zero when x is pi by 6 so differentiating it root 3a minus sin x Plus two b sine x ka derivative cos x. Keeping x is equals to pi by six gives me minus root three by two a plus two b root three by two equals to zero. Root three by two can be merged with zero on the right hand side. Solving it for b upon a, so the value of b upon a turns out to be one by two. That is zero point five. Wow, great. so i hope you must have enjoyed this method of approaching the question in slightly different way that means connecting it with the portion or the topic that you have already studied in physics so please like the video and share it with your friends and family see you in the next video of the series till then thanks for watching and bye bye